Hey guys, I'm hanging out at Smith's Nature Friendly Farms and today we're going to talk about solarizing. Alright guys, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you probably see, well a lot of my videos on gardening, you probably see a lot of black on my garden during the different times of the year. In fact, I use solarization actually throughout the entire year within my garden. So first off, what is solarization? Let's take a look. Alright, solarization is essentially this. This is the black plastic that I have placed down on the ground that gets incredibly hot um, underneath it and kills off the weeds. Uh, also prevents any sun from coming in and basically sucks the life out of uh, the grass and the weeds that are growing underneath. Now some recent studies have said some really good stuff about solarizing which I really like because I have a no-till garden and I use composted materials. And pathogens are a real risk in any garden that uses composted materials that include any kind of animal waste in the uh, product itself. So solarizing, there's a new research that I saw recently that actually says that solarizing when the heats get high enough will actually kill off pathogens. Now that leads you to the first question, well, does it also kill off your good guys, your you know fungi and all that stuff that you're actually trying to keep alive under there? And according to this research, it doesn't. Now this research is relatively new. Uh, if I can find it again, I'll put it, the link down in the comments below. But um, I was really quite hopeful in the fact that it did say that you were, it was very likely leading to the fact that pathogens can be killed by this process of solarization. So that's great, it's an extra step. You certainly can kill those same pathogens by doing your compost properly, turning your pile, getting to the right temperature. But uh, this is another added step for me. So super fantastic. I love solarization though, first and foremost, cause it's easy. Yes, I say often I'm a lazy gardener. I'm actually not a lazy gardener, but I just like strategies that make gardening easy so I can do more. So solarization allows us to do that. And let's take a look at how it's working. So in the wintertime, solarization doesn't work quite as quickly as the summertime. So this tarp's been on there probably for about three weeks, maybe a little bit longer even. And this grass is just now starting to go yellow. If this was the middle of the summer, uh, two weeks probably max, and I could probably have the weeds killed off underneath the high heat um, will very quickly kills off um, any of the weeds. But once it's done, what will happen is it'll look like this. And these, there's no weeds in this zone. Now slowly over time, uh, some of them may pop up, they drop in through birds, who knows, but do weeds do eventually come back, but they're coming back a lot less. Like this has been several weeks that I haven't had anything on it and I don't have, I can't see a weed in there. So that's fantastic. Um, what I actually recommend is using solarization as a post compost activity. So you would lay down your compost. Sometimes you don't kill off all the weed seeds in your compost and you actually end up adding weeds to your garden. Ideally, if you've got the temperatures up there perfectly, that won't happen, but it doesn't, it's not always perfect. So what I would do is put down the compost and then put the tarp over top and then let that sit for a couple of weeks, just ensuring that all of your weed seeds are killed off. It works really well. And there's quite a few different perspectives of what kind of tarping you can use. Some people suggest um, you can use uh, clear plastic or white plastic. Some have said white plastic is better than black plastic. Uh, I've tried some other plastics and they have not, for me, they have not worked as well as the black plastic. It's as if though, the complete lack of sun and the high temperatures underneath it seem to work really, really well. Um, you can also use, this is actually, we, uh, we got given the chance to pull up some row covers from a nursery. So we got given this material, which is fantastic because it's more of a material, but then a plastic, but it'll last a lot longer. You can get those at Amazon and I believe also at Walmart too, but they'll be quite a bit more expensive. They're about 30 bucks a roll. So, um, at the end of the day, I mean, use what's best for you, but I would say black plastic is definitely the best working for me. One of the big advantages to solarization is just how easy it is to manage. You put out a tarp, let it go, and you can see how much weeding you can be done with very little effort. If I sat here and tried to pick out these weeds, they would be forever. 
So, which is why most people till, but being that we are a no-till garden in this particular section of the yard, I, I don't want to till. I don't ever want to put a till on this ground again. So solarization has been become my greatest tool at battling the weeds. And in Mississippi, as with many other places, the weeds are crazy. The grass just takes over, it crawls, it drops in, it flies in, it does everything. So the grass has to be controlled or else your crops just, they just don't form. So you can get sheets of plastic, um, you can get them all over the place, Amazon, Walmart. Um, I like Walmart for them. They have a package like these sheets over here that you were looking at. Um, they're about $10 for a pack of them and then I just rotate them around. In the summertime, I will actually kind of fold them up and use them as row cover. So they hide, they hide the weeds in the particular row, not necessarily hide them, they kill them during the same time, but I will use them in between the rows to keep the weeds down. So they're fantastic throughout the season. And then once I'm done with the bed, off it goes and I cover it up with the black plastic and let it take over and kill off those weeds. Downside of it obviously is there's a cost associated to it. You have to buy them and they do wear out over time. They start to break down quite a bit, especially in the high sun and high heat. They start to break down a lot faster, less, less as much in the winter time. So really a fantastic method for me. It's helped me manage the weeds a lot more this year and especially in this garden. This garden performed, outperformed our tilled area. And I really attribute a lot of that to the weed management. Weeds take over, the plants don't get nearly as big, they suck up all the nutrients that your plants need. So by managing it, it certainly makes for a better haul, a better garden overall. All right guys, that's it for solarization. It's definitely a great tactic to use in your gardens. Hope you find it helpful. By all means, leave me your comments, what you think down below. Always super happy to hear from you guys. And the usual, be friendly, be kind.